Hello, my name is Bruce Janey and today I'd like to take a look at a product called Fountain Connection. It's actually a fairly simple device. It is a connector that joins two soda bottles mouth to mouth. If we look inside the connector, there's two holes. Those are for holding the straws. One straw goes into the upper bottle. The other straw goes into the lower bottle. Lower bottle has water in it. Uh, so this is added, it's connected, tightened up so it doesn't leak. Turn it upside down and we get this nice little fountain that's forming in the upper bottle. It does this every time we turn it over. So why does it do that? Well, the, the first part of the answer has to do with gravity pulling the water from the upper bottle into the lower bottle. Uh, the water flows down, down through this tube. It starts to fill up this bottle and this bottle had air in it. The air has got to go somewhere and so it's actually being slightly compressed and driven upwards and it goes up through this tube up here. Now the upper bottle had water in it and the water is leaving the space, reducing the air pressure inside up here and so that is also helping to pull the air from down here up into the upper bottle to take the place of the water that's leaving. Now either one of those factors is enough to actually make the fountain take place. For example, if I turn it over and I unscrew the bottom bottle, the fountain's still taking place up here. That's because the, the reduction in air pressure up here as the water leaves, now in this case it's actually the outside atmospheric pressure that's pushing in to occupy the space that the water has left behind. It wants to make sure that the air pressure on the inside and outside is balanced, so air is going into the bottle to occupy that space. Uh, in, the, in the other case, if we take a look at what's going on in the lower bottle, uh, in this case I've cut off the top of the upper bottle, and if I add water to it, we still get a nice little fountain taking place because the water is going from up here, flowing down through that tube and compressing the air and forcing it up through this tube up here. Now if I were to add water and unscrew this, let's see what happens then. Okay, so there's no fountain that's taking place. So it must either have compression taking place in the lower bottle or a reduction of pressure taking place in the upper bottle or better yet, it must have both. Um, but that's still not answering, why do we get the fountain? Why do we get the fountain? Well, in that case, what we need to do is go back and take a look at the connector and the tubes itself. Uh, if we pull one of the tubes out of here, and I look at this very closely, what I see in the tubes are these little holes that have been drilled uh, right before they go into the connector, and they're being held by the connector. So what ends up happening is that when this is in the bottle and we turn it over, water flows down through this tube, air flows up through this tube, and water in the upper bottle actually flows into those little holes, gets caught in the airstream, and that's actually what's making the fountain. It's actually the water going in there and getting caught in the upward movement of air. And that's why we get this little fountain that's taking place.